Hey everybody, I hope everyone's having a great day and thank you for tuning in to another episode with me, Ross Margagiani, and I, we're ready to drop uh, some serious knowledge bombs today. So we're going to be talking about our lifestyle pillar today and one of the m most important things and probably one of the easier things for my patients and my clients to be able to, uh, to focus and develop, which is our sleep. Obviously, our nutrition and our sleep go hand in hand. Out of everything that I teach, I would say those two are, are the biggest or most impactful on our life. So, a lot of people have the, the typical thought of, you know, getting eight to nine to ten hours of sleep, and that's great and all, and you know, if that's what you need and that's the type of person you are, that's okay. But it's not so much the amount of sleep we're getting, it's the amount of sleep that we're getting in our delta phase and in our REM sleep. So the, the quicker we're getting into our deep sleep and the longer we are in the deep sleep, and which is the delta phase and the, uh, the REM phase, the better, uh, the better we're going to be, the more recovered we're going to feel. Uh, sleep can have a lot of effects, you know, when we, are, when we have great sleep. Um, we have improved brain function, we have improved performance, we uh, enhance our cell division, we have better uh, insulin secretion levels, it can help uh, decrease cancer, decrease heart disease, the risk for heart disease, the list goes on and on and on. So it's really important, it's really in our advantage to make sure we take these uh, sleep improvements. Um, so, you know, if you're thinking to yourself and you come up with any of these items on your, you know, your symptoms or your, your sleep, um, your, you know, your sleep thoughts, so to speak, if you're one of those persons that are, uh, you know, that is constantly waking up in the middle of the night, um, always tossing and turning, you know, not really feeling like you got a real good night of sleep, you're waking up in the morning and you're still groggy and you just feel tired, uh, having trouble to get asleep, you know, the brain's wandering, you're constantly thinking, the brain's constantly turned on, uh, getting up in the middle of the night and having food cravings, or getting up in the middle of the night and not being able to go back to bed. Uh, so if you're, if you're one of those, you know, if you're one of those people out there and you, and you have you know, any of these symptoms, this is definitely something for you and, you know, seeking me out and, uh, you know, shooting, in, shooting me an email or uh, visiting my website would definitely be beneficial for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over exactly what is sleep and, uh, you know, how do we get into our delta sleep and our REM sleep. So first off, we have, you know, how we sleep here. And the first note I have is brain waves. So our, our gamma, beta, alpha, theta, these are all brain waves that we produce when we're awake, when we're alert, and we're, you know, that we're, and we're performing during the day. So I'm going to make a connection to that. So just remember these brain waves here that I just discussed. So in our sleep, we have a five stage sleep cycle. And in stages one and two, we produce all of these alert or wakefulness uh, brain waves. So when you know when we're technically asleep uh, in stage one and two, but we're still you know active. Our brain's still functioning. Our brain isn't in our rest and recovery and repair yet. We're still producing gamma. We're still producing beta. We're still producing alpha and theta brain waves. So it's not until we get into stage three and four is when we are in our deep sleep or known as our delta sleep. And this is where we start, you know, recovering and, you know, just recharging the batteries, so to speak. Um, and then it's when we get into our stage five, which is our last stage, which is our REM sleep or our rapid eye movement. Um, and this is really important as well. Stages, you know, three and four, which kind of can be linked together. And our stage five are the most important stages of our sleep. And you know, the more clear our brain is, and the more uh, you know, in tune we are with our body, the longer we will be in our stage 
three, four, and five, or the longer we'll be in our delta sleep and our REM sleep. So it's really important that we take care of our body and that we're doing the right things mentally for our brain and for our body so we're staying longer in our delta sleep and our REM sleep. Um, so basically, the big question is, how do we stay in our delta and our REM sleep? Well, I'm gonna go over that quickly for you here. Bear with me while I change charts. So, the first thing we got here, uh, if you're able to read it, is improvement of our glymphatic system. So basically, what our glymphatic system does is it produces, uh, you know, it tells mitochondria to start cleaning out toxins in the brain and waste in the brain. And it, you know, provides, that way we provide some clarity, you know, our brain's not constantly wandering all day or, or when we're in bed wandering all night. And we can kind of focus a little bit more and focus on getting good solid sleep. And how we improve that is I'm very much so a, uh, you know, a paleo or a bulletproof uh, lifestyle. I don't like to call it nutri uh, like a diet. Um, you know, diet seems very, you know, forced upon. I like to think of my eating habits as a lifestyle, and so that's kind of what I follow. So, in those lifestyles, nutrition lifestyles, is uh, I sometimes incorporate what's called intermittent fasting. That's something we can talk about a, on a whole another video. And what intermittent fasting does, it produces what's called cellular autophagy. And in turn, when we have cellular autophagy, it basically what it does is it cleans out a lot of the, the waste or the leftovers uh, that, you know, from our cells and cleans them out so you know, we're you know, ready to function and, and work optimally. Um, and cellular autophagy increases mitochondrial production. And if we have an increase in mitochondrial production, we're going to have an increase in our glymphatic system. So again, kind of tying it all back in, they're kind of intertwined. So if we have increased uh, mitochondrial production, we're going to increase our glymphatic system, which is going to remove our, you know, that waste, and the mycotoxins, and clear our brain, and, and you know, have less brain fog, and, and have more clarity when you know, we're thinking or when we're trying to go to bed. So that's really important there. Next one is making sure we're having good fats at dinner. So good fats are going to stabilize our energy in our blood, in our blood, in our um, the release of our excuse me, is going to have us stabilize our energy and our release of you know glucose and insulin. And we're not going to have any you know. Uh, cascading effects in, in high levels and drops. It's going to basically give us a um, stable uh, glycemic index. So we're, you know, we're going to have a nice steady uh, release of insulin and glucose. We're not going to be all over the place. That way we don't feel any you know, uh, food cravings at night or we don't have uh, any, you know, increases of cortisol that's going to cause us to become more active. Um, so it's really important that we have good fats. Also, when we have good fats, it's going to release more ketones. We're going to be able to produce more ketones. And how this ties into our glymphatic system is think of, my, you know, remember, glymphatic system, more mitochondria, the more we increase that, the more we get rid of waste. The more ketones we have, think of mitochondria as the car and the ketones as the gas. So the more ketones we have, the more production we're going to get out of our mitochondria. All right. Then the next one we have is uh, obtaining, you know, about a gram of fish oil or krill oil before we're going to go to bed. And what that does is krill or, krill or fish oil um, help produce what's called serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter in the brain. And what serotonin does, it kind of, um, you know, dims down our stress hormones. So we can be in more of a parasympathetic state, nice and relaxed, and 
kind of prepares us to go to bed so we're not producing our stress hormones and we're not you know getting all excited and we're not in that sympathetic state we can kind of get ready for that parasympathetic state next is protein with a combination of whey protein having that at night uh, just a little disclaimer making sure that we don't have too much protein at night because when we intake too much protein at night we can produce a brain chemical called orexin and orexin just basically causes can cause the brain to become stimulated and put us in more of a sympathetic state so to speak so kind of being careful on how much uh, protein we want to take uh, again if you have questions you can reach me uh, reach me at my email I'll be more than happy to go over uh, more specifics and then whey protein having whey protein at night would be, is super helpful it produces glutathione more specifically in the liver and what glutathione does is it gets rid of our toxins and it gets rid of those toxins that are going to inhibit your sleep essentially so we'll be able to get rid of those toxins and be able to sleep uh, sleep better next we got supplements I could go on you know for days with the supplements but I'm only gonna hit a couple here again if you have questions you can re, uh, definitely reach me so we've got magnesium and potassium um, just never mind sleep having these two supplements in general is gonna be super beneficial just for your overall health but potassium is really helpful it can help with any leg cramps at night that you may getting or any stiffness so that's really important next we have GABA this is another really good supplement to have what it does is it, it inhibits neurotransmitters so basically it can kind of just get you nice and relaxed again put you more in a parasympathetic state and get you ready for sleep next is PQQ again talking about mitochondria so P PQQ enhances again mitochondrial production again going back to our lymphatic system so if we have you know an increase in mitochondrial production we're going to increase our lymphatic system which is going to get rid of more toxins and provide more brain clarity uh, that being said I also want to talk quickly about melatonin super important that we uh, you know take melatonin sparingly I know that's the big supplement that people are probably used to hearing um, you know if you're, you're traveling you're changing time zones or your sleep cycle is really messed up melatonin can be you know very helpful to take but we want to stay away from taking it on a regular basis because what that's going to do is going to dampen your natural production of melatonin and the body basically becomes desensitized a little bit so just be careful with uh, you know taking melatonin and you know only use it when you really need that that uh, surefire plan to make sure you get a good night's sleep next uh, staying away from you know lots of lights turn the lights off like I turn I turn my lights off about two uh, at least two and a half three hours before I go to bed that way I start to you know lower my cortisol lower my stress hormones increase my melatonin production my I you know I kind of trick my body into all right time to prime the body and get ready for sleep uh, what's really good that I've tried is amber lighting so amber lighting produces a wavelength of light that doesn't associate or stimulate cortisol or it basically tricks the brain and uh, into okay it's nighttime again time to increase that melatonin decrease the stress hormones the cortisol and again prepare the body for sleep so that's another really important one there uh, a couple other things that I didn't mention or I, I don't have uh, written down on the board here would be uh, like a uh, an app that I use it's really helpful it's called sleep cycle so you can go on and uh, you know just in the app store Google sleep sleep cycle it's really good for monitoring your sleep and how well you're doing with these improvements and how much they're improving your sleep so that's a really beneficial one that I use every night and it tells you you know the percentage or the quality of sleep that you're getting so that's a really helpful one uh, also meditation is really important you know getting that 15 minutes of meditation you know a couple hours before you go to bed can really just put you in the right state of mind and prepare the body for relaxation and put you in that again that parasympathetic mode 
Um, some other things to avoid here, making sure guys and girls that we're not exercising at night, again, shooting up that cortisol, uh, making sure that we're avoiding caffeine, obviously, we all know that's a stimulant, uh, avoiding the, um, uh, the second wind, so to speak. You know, be in tune with your body. When you're ready to go to bed and you can tell you're starting to get tired, you know, don't push through that and catch your second wind. What that second wind is, it's your body producing stress hormone, producing cortisol to keep you up and to keep you going. So, you know, be in tune with your body and, uh, you know, realize that, you know, it's time to go to sleep. And just avoid, try to avoid stress. You don't want to be doing anything too active right before you go to bed. You shouldn't be watching, you know, a horror movie that's going to be getting your cortisol levels up. You shouldn't be doing anything that's too stimulating. Uh, I'm a, you know, I, I'm a a little bit of a hypocrite on this one. I'm always reading something or trying to educate myself and that's you know getting my brain going like crazy before I go to bed and I'm always rethinking what I read and so you know it's something that I kind of need to work on myself but trying to just get the body and prime the body to get ready to go to sleep in that parasympathetic, parasympathetic mode. Uh, I know I threw a lot at you today but this is such a huge topic that you guys need to crush and just need to you know, dominate in order to get your health back. Uh, also paired with some adrenal labs and some GI testing, thyroid testing, this would you know, obviously just enhance that. But I know, again, I know I threw a lot at you and if you have any questions, which I'm sure some of you guys and girls will, uh, email me at info at revowell.com or uh, go onto my website revowell.com and uh, you know just if you have any questions let me know and I hope you guys tune in to the next episode and thank you guys for watching this video have a great day